guys, this is Mona Gonzalez for TikTok Profiles. My name is Mona Gonzalez. I am 25 years old. I am a BS Medical Technology graduate and a proud Bisaya. I started making videos on TikTok months after it was released in the Philippines. I saw this ad on Facebook. It was a Sassware video. And Sassware videos, by the way, are videos in which you will transform yourself into another character or a best version of yourself. And so I got hooked on the content. So I downloaded the TikTok app. Dayun. And then I explored the app. And then I got inspired. So I thought to myself, ah, I don't know how to do a video. And so I uploaded my very first video on TikTok, February 2018, and it was a Sasor video. Before the quarantine, I was working as an intern in a hospital laboratory. During my free time, I also do gigs because I am a singer. <laughs> Yes, I am a singer. Oh my god. I am a singer and I have an acoustic band. Um, but most of the time, we're just a duo. I only have my guitarist every time we perform in events, parties. If I have extra, extra time, I also do song covers and I upload them on YouTube. Um, pila mga gugo ka years nga sigig eskwela na feel na ko nga nasat aside na nako ako ang mga hilig. Luckily, I found this platform in which I can express my creativity. And so, I make Sasware videos and upload them on TikTok. I guess it's the <laughs> Because I love the vibe of the song. It's Positive. <laughs> not positive. Not COVID positive, sorry. <laughs> because, oh, I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to I can imagine the good old times. Good old, good old days. Good old days. Yeah. But, um, aside from that, kay dili bang ko. Wait lang ha, mag English ta. Aside from that, because I am not a dancer, I'm really into Sasware vids. That's my favorite concept. So, if you guys don't know what a Sasware is, let's try. <clears throat> let's do the magic. Yo. <laughs> I thought I did it again, again, again. It's like that. <laughs> My job as an intern working in a hospital laboratory was pretty much toxic and stressing in nature. So TikTok became my escape. I balance it in a way na I try to diffuse all the negative energy, all the stress, all the toxicness from my work by making creative videos. I guess being solo or an independent creator because there are some scenes, angles, concepts that I want to achieve but I just can't because I am just doing it all by myself. And also, I'm kind of a perfectionist. So, pag makakita ko murag something na i Gamay na na change sa angle. Like, when you make Sasware videos, dapat ang frame is the same lang gitsa. Dili mo bago yung background. As much as possible. But there are times na masibu gamay ang camera because na igu siya or something like that. So, I have to do them all over again. Like, sometimes. Because 
it doesn't matter if people will watch it or will say that it's good or they appreciate it. Um, what matters to me the most is the quality that I can provide, that I can upload because it always reflects me. Um, the most rewarding part is just simple to me. It's the feeling of fulfillment every time I create a craft. And at the same time knowing that I make other people entertained, I make other people happy and inspired or even motivated. To all the aspiring content creators and to all the content creators in general, if it's your passion and it makes you happy, continue. Nabantayan ako sa mga content creators these days. Uh, dali na kayo sila mo give up. Like, if walay mo tanaw sa ilang mga contents, they will easily feel sad and uh, lose hope kaya walay ni tanaw sa ila. To tell you guys, I started that way also. Gikan ko diraa. Gikan ko sa zero following. Gikan ko sa zero views. And I didn't stop. I just took, I, I might, I may took a rest, but I didn't quit. I didn't stop and I tried to improve myself. And so, so don't worry if you feel like no one is watching. By the time that you doubt yourself too much, that's the time that you should be doing more. Like, double ni mo. You should counter that feeling. Because, chances are, opportunities might uh, uh, might kanang ah, uh, might be gone or to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, to chances are opportunities might but, <laughs> okay, next up ay, taka pa ba na kong bashers? um <laughs> Being in this field is never a race, never a competition. The numbers, the following, the followers, the views doesn't define you as a content creator. Always remember that. Just take your time and enjoy doing what you love. To all my fans, Mooncakes, thank you so much for all the appreciation and for the love. Your support fuels me up to keep on doing my best. Please don't forget to subscribe to TikTok Philippines for more profiles of your favorite Filipino TikTok creators. Once again, this is Mona Gonzalez for TikTok Profiles. Thank you for watching!